One of the key concepts of the demonstration farms is to showcase innovative conservation practices. We know that farmers all across the state of Ohio are doing great things. And those innovative practices don't always take place on the demonstration farms themselves. That's exactly what we're doing here today. We're in Allen County looking at a cascading waterway system. I'll talk more about that here in a little bit, but if we step back and think about uh, one of the key concepts that we talk about uh, with water quality, and we talk about this on the demonstration farms all the time, we want producers to think about water management, having a water management plan for every field that they, that they work on. Um, and so we wanna uh, slow water down, we wanna stop it in some cases, and if appropriate, we wanna treat it in some cases. And that's exactly what we're trying to evaluate here with this cascading waterway system. Now, if you look at a, a traditional grass waterway, uh, which is uh, upstream here, uh, a grass waterway is installed in the field where we have a gully erosion situation. Uh, we've got water that's starting to, uh, start, starting to make a cut and it's starting to move that soil off site. Well, that soil contains phosphorus in it. And so we're trying to stop that erosion from happening. We'll come in and, and seed a, a vegetation here, as you can see. And uh, that vegetation is here uh, year round. And so we stop that uh, gully erosion from happening. A grass waterway though, doesn't necessarily stop the phosphorus that's coming to the system itself. Uh, that, that water that comes into the system then gets flushed through, takes the soil with it through the waterway. Um, and so we're not, we're not impacting what's coming into the waterway itself. So this cascading waterway system is looking at how we can potentially manage that situation. Now, uh, if you take a look here uh, at, a, at the, uh, the cells in this cascading waterway, uh, you can see uh, that it's basically created a, a pool system within the waterway itself. And uh, these pools are generally two, two and a half feet deep and are trapping that water within the grass waterway. This concept was developed in Maryland and they've seen uh, initially good results in water quality, uh, reductions in phosphorus and nitrogen and sediment, um, but we think that's due to basically reduced volumes of water moving through the system. Their soils are different in Maryland than what we have here in Ohio. Uh, typically in Ohio, we've got poor to very poorly drained soils. And so as you can see in, in this site, the water has come into the system, um, but it is, it's pooled, it's stayed here. We haven't had rain in a, in a month or so, and that water is, is basically staying here. So we don't know yet how effective this practice is gonna be in reducing water volume um, from the system, um, but that's the whole point of, of these sites is to evaluate them for future use here in the landscape. So stay tuned over the next couple of years as, as the engineers uh, does, uh, look at the practice and evaluate its effectiveness. And hopefully this can be a, a conservation practice that can uh, get added into your farm management system and improve your farm's impact on downstream water quality.